friends welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's biology we've been talking about uh, the immune system and immunology lecture series and this is the fifth video of the immunology lecture and in this video we want to talk about the leukocyte rolling adhesion and release of leukocyte from the vessel into the infected area of the tissue which is leukocyte extravasion so we'll talk about these three things together now remember as this is a series of videos it will be very beneficial for you if you watch the previous video so keep watching the videos as a series because in the last video we talked about the very first part of the defense mechanism of our body which is the integral part of innate immunity involved with the inflammatory response in the inflammation what happens whenever there is a damage due to the wound or something bacteria take entry for example, here we see the bacteria as this blue colored things here. So, matter is dendritic cells which are present there in the tissue or let us say neutrophils which can also be present in the tissue. They will engulf those bacteria, macrophage for example say, as a phagocytosis. Now, after this engulfment, it will also start releasing certain factors, okay. The factors called interleukins. Remember, there are some molecular patterns that are found in the bacteria, which is unique to them. And these macrophages, dendritic cells, which are the prime cells, so the first line of cells against the, those, those pathogens, they can find those pathogen associated molecular patterns. And using those pathogen associated molecular patterns, these macrophages or dendritic cells, they can exactly sense the type of pathogen that are entering into our body. They can sense it. Once they sense that pathogen, they start engulfing that pathogen inside. Now, they sense that pathogen with the help of the presence of different receptor molecules like toll like receptor, TLR, NOD, RIG. We talked about all these in details. So, with the help of these things, they can recognize the presence of the pathogen and then once they engulf the pathogen, they start releasing interleukins which are the part of chemokine molecules. Now, the thing is once they are releasing these interleukins, which is interleukin 1, interferon type 1, interleukin 8 and different types of interleukins and also some other things like histamines, bradykinins, leukotrienes, which are also the secondary response chemicals. But these are the primary response chemicals that are being released in the infected tissue at the start point of the infection. Once these interleukins are released and the cytokines are released, those things are now filled there. The concentration of those interleukins, let me change the color. Let us take the green color for the concentration. So, the concentration of those interleukins are getting higher and higher in the tissue side. That thing is acting as a chemical movement or movement towards chemical. That thing is known as chemotaxis for the leukocytes that are present in the blood vessel. Okay? So, leukocytes are present in the blood vessel, it is rolling, it is moving through the blood vessel because the blood is always circulating. But once we have high concentration of this in cytokines like interleukin 1, interferons, this cytokine concentration is telling these leukocytes to migrate towards themselves. That is known as a chemical derived movement or chemotaxis. So, leukocytes will move from the red blood from these vessels into the infected adjacent tissue area by the chemotaxis mechanism. But there is a barrier that is the endothelial wall of the blood vessel. You see the blood vessel wall though it is thinner but still there are cells covering it. It is a wall, it is a physical wall which this leukocytes needs to evade to come the adjacent tissue. It cannot damage the wall because if it self damage the wall that will be a bad thing to do. So, there is a some way that cells will migrate from this, uh, this vessel into the tissue. That whole process we are going to talk about right now. And why this is important? Because there are different types of leukocytes, you know, all those cells we know of, T lymphocytes are there, which are, which are different, but the leukocyte cell means eosinophil, basophil, lymphocyte, monocyte, 
okay so all these cells that we know of in this white blood cells they are functional cells and they are required for the helping and the generation of some more unified response against that pathogen that will be known as acquired immunity one such very important cell is neutrophil that will be required in this area okay so in this case they want those lymphocytes they want all those lympho leukocyte cells now before going into there they those leukocyte cells are moving through this bloodstream and they are moving really fast because the red blood cell is moving and also they are moving with themselves so it's a very very fast movement so the first thing for taking them into this tissue is that to slow them down and finally stop them if you don't stop somebody is running running like that let's say parallelly this thing is running and flowing i want to take this to my side the first thing i should do is slow it then stop it then take it so there are three different stages will be there first is the attachment or tethering of the leukocyte into the endothelial wall okay this is the attachment or tethering that is known as a cap capturing the first thing capturing or tethering second is the process called rolling what tethering means there should be some way this leukocyte cells will be in contact with the endothelial cell that is the attachment only okay the first thing capture then we do the rolling rolling means once we capture those two things once we capture the endothelial cell with the leukocytes then we can start it rolling rolling means it's not moving and running it means it's it's just circulating it's just rolling very very slowly then the third part is the firm capturing or firm attachment then could be a proper attachment but it will be not that strong firm very firm attachment over there and then once the firm attachment is done means after the end of the firm attachment we can tell the leukocyte is now stopped then the fourth part squeezing that leukocyte between the two and endothelial cell this is the fourth thing so there are four stages for the whole process let me write those stages here first is the contact second is rolling the third one is firm attachment and the fourth one is the migration of the leukocyte into the infected tissue these are the four stages if we break them down for our convenience now for this first thing of which is called contact i told you na no, contact means the leukocytes should be in direct interaction with the endothelial cell surface how they achieve this there are specific proteins that leukocytes start expressing so as now normally these proteins are expressed in leukocytes all the time but this endothelial cell start expressing only when they sense this high concentration of interleukins once this cell start the sense of the interleukin concentration going high the endothelial cell start expressing a protein on the surface of the cell which is known as selectin okay now what is that let me just draw simple thing this is let's say the red blood this is the blood vessel and these are let's say the endothelial cells okay and let's say this is the leukocyte that we are talking about so the leukocyte they are having a specific carbohydrate moiety outside that is known as salylated lewis x this is a carbohydrate structure known as salylated lewis x molecules that are always present there okay in the surface of this leukocytes but the endothelial cells don't have anything there so normally when there is no infection there is no interleukins the leukocyte is moving very fast along with the blood stream but now once there is the presence of all those interleukins and all those cytokines interferons and all these things the concentration is going high in the nearer tissue that influence this endothelial cells 
to produce selectins which is another cell surface receptor molecule. So, all the cells start expressing another surface receptor known selectins. Example of selectin is E selectin, P selectin. Okay. With the help of this selectin and selectin which are present both sides in the leukocytes as well as so the silylated Lewis X they function as selectin. So it is just like kind of looking like a hook that is a hook from the leukocyte and the hook coming from the endothelial cell. So once they, they create this hook. So, there can be contact between leukocyte and this surface receptor of selectin. Contact could be made so as the process of rolling. Rolling means slowing down a little bit. Because now let us say two types of selectins that are present and they are looking like hooks. One from the leukocyte, one from the endo endothelial cell. So, as they are moving, the hooks are connecting, again disconnecting connecting and disconnecting. So, what is going on? They are not allowed to move very fast, but they can kind of a roll on the surface of this selectins. And the interaction with, with the selectin and the salinated Lewis X, they can start kind of a roll, like, like a walking. Once first they are flying, they are running, but now due to the expression of the selectin, we make them to walk slowly. That is known as the rolling or leukocyte rolling. So, selectins are not enough to completely slow down, but completely stop, but it slows down the movement a little bit. After some time, when this getting kind of a rolling thing is going on, then this endothelial molecules and this leukocytes both, leukocytes also have some other surface molecules known as LFA1, leukocyte rolling factor. This is called LFA1. They have this LFA1 on their surface. But this LFA1 cannot interact with selectin. It can interact with another type of surface receptor molecule known as integrin, which is also being expressed by these cells, by these endothelial cells. So now what we will see, endothelial cells start expressing this integrins. So, once they start expressing the integrins, which is drawn in the green color, this LFA1, let us say this is the LFA1 and this is the ex one example of integrin is ICAM1. So, LFA1 can interact with the ICAM1, which is present on the surface of endothelium. So, this binding of LFA1 with the ICAM1 can actually stop the movement and rolling of leukocytes. Okay. Selectin interactions will slow down leukocyte, LFA1 and IKM1 interactions will stop the leukocytes completely. Once the leukocyte rolling is completely stopped, now it is firmly attached to some part of this endothelial cell. So, it is now stopped, which is called the firm attachment. So, for the firm attachment, we need integrins. For slowing down, we need or rolling, we need selectins. Okay? That is the idea. Now, again, though they have this LFA1 from the beginning, the leukocytes, and if they have even ICAM, but this interaction will not be that strong if there is no interleukin. This LFA1 Attachment with ICAM1 interaction is not that strong usually, but if there is a presence of interleukin 8 in this endothelial cell surface, because they, they get this interleukin 8 in this area and they showcase that on the surface, uh, surface and then this leukocyte have those interleukin 8 receptor. So, the binding of LFA1 and ICAM1 gets much stabilized once this leukocyte interacts with interleukin 8 with the help of interleukin 8 receptor. So, with the help of this three range of binding, finally the interleukin can be stopped. Okay? Integrins can do its job, but the integrin functionality will be enhanced in the presence of interleukin 8. Okay? That thing will be done here. Once 
the leukocyte is rolling is done and it's kind of a fixed in the area then we need to do what is known as the extravasion of this leukocyte so the leukocyte migration from this endothelial and, and actually through this endothelial layer of the cells vascular endothelial cell into the tissue which is just uh, in the attached uh, proximity with this blood vessel right and for this fourth thing or migration they also need the help of some integrins like ICAM, PCAM, these are some other integrins which help this process because you know once it is interact and attached this the junction between the two adjacent cells they start they start actually modifying their body the leukocytes start modifying its body with the help of actin rearrangement you know actin fibers actin fibers start to rearrange the cell and start producing pseudopods once they produce pseudopods that can take entry through this adjacent endothelial vascular endothelial cells and this leukocyte now can easily squeeze through those two endothelial cells it's not damaging it's squeezing through the inner space between these two cells interspace now as it's squeezing through it it will take some time for this whole process to work but this squeezing is done because they are moving the towards the interleukin concentration which is high in this tissue compared to the blood vessel through the process called chemotaxis okay so that is how the whole process of leukocyte rolling addition and movement occur and this is the second part of the innate immune response because you know the first part is the development of all those interleukins in the first place movement and, and migration of the cells to the to the place causing inflammation inflammation in the other hand drives this leukocytes to come from the lead blood vessel into the tissue infected tissue so that is the second part and once this leukocytes start coming there so they will see some more cells start to gather in that infected area so it will again further rise the concentration of the other interleukins interference even the production of tumor necrosis factor along with that it will start causing more and more of a inflammatory response okay so it will boost the inflammatory response in further stream so that in a sense is the process of leukocyte rolling and addition and migration i hope you understand this video if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that and watch through this whole series of immunology video i hope it will help you thank you